Today is part three. I would like to share the blessing of God with you under the title, The Rich Man and Lazarus. Lazarus. Do you know who is the richest person in the world as of June 2021? Do you know that? Uh, you know the, the luxury brand and, 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 and purse and bag, Louis Vuitton? Yeah, that, that, that group's chairman, name is Bernard Arnault. He's, pre, he's French. He is the richest person in the world of June 2021. Yeah. His fortune is 192.2 billion. And second place is Jeff Bezos, who is Amazon.com CEO. You know Amazon.com. Yeah, he has 187 billion. Third place is, maybe you know that, Elon Musk, who is the Tesla and SpaceX CEO. Uh, he has 156.4 billion. Fourth, place Bill Gates. Fifth place is, you know, the Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Do you know uh, what rank is former President Donald Trump? Guess. He's 1,424th. His fortune is $2.4 billion. Do you know Oprah Winfrey, right? Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. She ranks 1,241st. She has $2.7 billion. So Michael Jordan is ranked 1,987. So, Pastor Gay, why, why you uh, share this? The people, I have a purpose. I have a purpose. Yeah, these people, the uh, Bill Gates and Oprah Winfrey, Donald Trump, and, and Elon Musk, they are not just rich. They have some power and influence. They are, because they, they have a lot of uh, money, also, they have power and influence. Of course, there will be differences in how and for what they use their wealth and influence. So people in this world, they remember. They remember them. Actually, they not remember the beggar, poorest people like Lazarus. Their names will be recorded in the history of this world and remembered by people. By the way, how many of these rich people are respected? How many of these people believe in Jesus Christ? That's my main concern. Would you be happy to have a lot of money and wealth? What do you think about it? Today's text is what Jesus said in parable, but there is something interesting. Verse 19 and 20, we can see that there was a rich man. There was a rich man. Verse 20, a beggar named Lazarus. Yeah, what is the name of the beggar? Lazarus. But we don't know what is the rich man's name. We don't know his name. Jesus said the name of the beggar, but did not say the name of the rich man. Why? Like the ranking of the rich people, in, rich person in the world, that we saw the world has an interest in the names of the rich people and their lives. The world recognized the rich. Not the beggars. 
But Jesus' attention is directly to a beggar, Lazarus, who is alienated in the world. Rich or poor, everyone die, right? Everyone die after this world. After that, there is God's judgment. There is God's judgment. The soul of the saved will go to heaven, and the soul of the unsaved will go to hell. Suppose the, the rich man and Lazarus are dead, so what the Bible said, the angel took Lazarus to heaven, but the rich man, he couldn't go to heaven. He go to hell. So some people claim like this about hell. God loves us so much. God loves the human. God did not create the hell because he loved the human. That's why there's no hell. Do you think like that too? Hell is true. Hell exists. Today's text is uh, not a real story, parable, but it is clearly recorded that the rich man is suffering in Hades, hell. So I want to tell you that hell was not created for human originally. It's a place of eternal punishment for Satan, evil spirit, uh, uh, the demons. If a man believes in Jesus Christ and lives as a children of God, they will naturally live in heaven, the kingdom of God. The Satan's purpose, his ultimate purpose is not to against God. People thought, yes, yeah, Satan against God, yes. But he knew that he cannot defeat God and children of God and Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. He already knew his purpose is not to against God. It is to make the human whom God loves against God. So Satan, evil spirit, keep tempting to people. On the day when Jesus comes again and the kingdom of God is completed, Satan and his kids group go to eternal hell. Eternal hell. Yeah, I told you that hell, God, not created hell for human. But human followed the Satan's against God. That people automatically go to hell. So Satan and, and evil spirit, they are after people, even at this moment, to take more people to hell with them. Because what they want is to go to hell with the humans who betrayed God, disobeyed God. That's why we have to stay awake spiritually. So we must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen? It says scripture, verse 23 to 25, 26. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus, Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here and you are in agony. The rich man calls Abraham, right? Calls Abraham. He called Father Abraham, Father Abraham. This means this rich man, he is Jewish. He's descendants of Abraham. The Israelites are chosen by God, chosen by God. Book of Exodus chapter 19, verse 4 to 6. At, the, at Mount Sinai, God said to Moses, 
You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession, although the whole earth is mine. You will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. As you know, Israelites were not obedient to God's word. They now obey God, obeyed God. They even crucified, crucified Jesus, the Messiah. The rich man, the rich man was living under the illusion that he could be saved because he is uh, Abraham's descendant, because he is Jewish. So he thought, oh, yeah, I'm a Jewish. I will go to heaven after this world. No. What the John the Baptist said, Luke chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father, for I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. What he said, out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. Even if it is the Israelites chosen by God, no one cannot go to heaven unless they repent and believe in Jesus Christ as Savior. No one cannot go to Abraham's side. Likewise, attending church, you guys come to church every Sunday. Attending church is not a sign that you have saved. No. Attending church is not a guarantee your destiny after this world. Your duty is like pastors and elders and missionaries and deacons and teachers in the, the church. Do not guarantee you will go to heaven. No one can go to heaven without Jesus Christ. But some religious, some people said, oh, I give offering a lot and I, I dedicate church and serve church. Think about it. Think about what is your true heart and faith. You believe in Jesus Christ truly? Or just want to hang out with the people? Or you want to experience the, the culture of a Christians? Think about it. What is this rich man's sin? Why couldn't the rich man go to Abraham's side but suffered in hell? The rich man has five brothers. You can see that his five brothers lived the same life as the rich man because he asked Abraham not to let his brothers go to hell. Verse 29 to 31. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. When the rich man was alive, he didn't take care of the beggar, Lazarus. He didn't care about him. He had no mercy on his neighbors. All material belongs to God, and God is the one who has given it us. In the law, in the Old Testament, and in, in Jesus' new commandment, it said, Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. 
But the rich man used his wealth, money, only for himself. Only for himself. This is against God's will. If his brothers are those who use wealth in accordance with God's will, the rich man does not have to ask Abraham like this. But the rich man and his brothers, they not obedience the law, what God says. Dear brothers and sisters, it is not a sin to be rich. I hope you don't misunderstand. Do your best. You want to you wanna be a rich? Yes, go ahead. I hope that everyone be rich. Whether you're working or doing business or, or investing, make a lot of money. But make money in a legal way and use it justly. If you're rich, if you become rich, please keep this in your mind. God did not order wealth to only you and your family to eat well and live well. He gave wealth for use for your neighbors and God's kingdom in accordance with His will. What is the sin of the rich man. His sin was to live a life only for himself without didn't care for God and his neighbors while living a rich life, luxury life. Then how should you and me live your life? Our lives. I think I shared uh, the Christian organization, the Voice of Matters before. Yeah, I support this organization every month. I send uh, donation money to them. It is an organization that helps Christians who are suffering for keep their faith in Jesus Christ all over the world. Currently, China's underground church is uh, suppressed by the Chinese government. If these churches follow the rule as the Chinese government, what they want, these churches will not suffer. But it's not only China. Christians are also oppressed in many other countries. Why did Jesus mention the beggar's name Lazarus? Think about it. He's telling you and me that the kingdom of God belongs to those who trust God and keep faith to the end despite the difficulties of the world. Listen. Even if the world does not know your faith, don't worry. But the Lord God knows your faith. Even if the church does not recognize your serving and dedication, that's okay. But the Lord remembers your dedication. Even if your name is not recorded in the history of the world, but your name is recorded in the book of life of the kingdom of God. It's more important. It's more important. Yeah, we are living a comfortable life of faith. Yes, it's true. But don't forget that. This is also God's blessing. God's blessing. We have to pray for those who are suffering to keep their faith. You must pray for them. Also, they, they need the financial help. We need the uh, uh, material support. Do I support I have a lot of money? No. I support them that that's what God wants. 
This is because children of God must work for the kingdom of God in any way. In any way. Because this is the way to expand the kingdom of God as a child of God. We can't go where they are and help them, but there are plenty of ways to help them where we are. Do you know what? The most, most pitiful thing of the church is that some just keep the money wealth. We already know that God prepare everything. All materials belong to God. God, give us use for the kingdom of God. If you use your wealth for God's kingdom, God fills it up. God fills it up. Why do you give an offering? The offering is we confess that all materials from God. And one of the reasons is that the church should use the offering for the kingdom of God. But if the church doesn't use the material, but just saving it, it doesn't work its original purpose. We do not use only material for the kingdom of God. Use your talent, your time, your life for the kingdom of God. God makes sure to fill it with a double, triple, and more and more. I guarantee. Do not worry. And never turn a blind eye to the difficulties of your neighborhood. How people like Lazarus live happily in this world. Don't forget, you are children. God's children. Our mission is build the kingdom of God in this world. I bless and pray in the name of the Lord that God's grace and mercy and blessing, the love of Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit will overflow to all of you who use everything you have for kingdom of God. Amen.